For the first time in my life, I have a set of weights that matches. It's not all over the place. It's not wherever the special is, whichever shop there is, buy the weights um, at the lowest price possible. You know, I remember when I first bought my squat rack, I was, you know, in two minds about whether it was a good idea to buy the, the home gym to start collecting all that stuff for the home. Obviously, over the years, the passion grew, um, the interest grew, and basically, I found a, a little spot in my life where I belong uh, in terms of my interests, my passions, my hobbies. And so, you know, over the years, uh, this idea has built up and built up, and now I really, really want to invest in this thing that I've started some 10 years ago. Um, and so today, I got my plates. I don't know how many times over the years I've done this, uh, gone onto the Rogue website, clicked the 20 kilo plates, clicked how many pairs I want, go to checkout, see how much the shipping is, and just fantasize about it. It's not like that I didn't have money all these years ago. It's just I always felt like this is unnecessary. So what if the weights are all over the place? So what if, you know, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. And then uh, I think it was Friday or Thursday last week, I went on and I went through with it. And now that they're here, I don't know, I can't even explain to you how happy this makes me feel. I don't know whether it's because I've gone onto that page at checkout on Rogue so many times and fantasized about having the weights. You know, when I first uh, fell in love or, or got interest in lifting weights, I loved when I, you know, seeing people lift with the, with the steel plates, with the iron plates. You know, the, 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 the weights are rattling on the bench press, on the squat, on the deadlift, um, and just something aesthetic about it. And, you know, you know we, we always talk about that, you know, who cares about aesthetics, you know, just about being strong and whatever. But, you know, let's be honest, you know, I, I fell in love with seeing guys move a certain way, use certain equipment or lack of equipment. So I loved watching Clarence Kennedy, Lou, Tian Tao, all these boys squat full depth. But then if I squatted, you know, with steel plates or lift weightlifters. And so then oh, powerlifters, I would see guys in garages and around the world and C.T. Fletcher back in the day benching freaking 25 million plates. And him saying there's nothing sweeter than a pair of 45s clapping together. You know, all that sort of stuff. So over the years, I've always, always said to myself, man, one day I want to get the steel plates. And now that I've got the floor... You know, uh, in my garage, the the rubber floor. Now it makes sense to get the the steel plates. So now it's kind of like even if I drop it, I'm not gonna take a chip out of the damn concrete. Um, the weights feel freaking amazing. The plates look awesome. Uh, I'm loving them. They're worth every single dollar. I also got a a, a weight tree, like a storage thing, which I have to assemble, and I also got a bench. Uh, from Rogue, all in the same package. I got a. Uh, finally, I have a proper bench and not something from Kmart that I got for fifteen dollars. I can't believe I've been benching for so long on a, on a bench that's like, you know, dancing underneath me. So now I've got a proper bench. I've got some weights. You know, uh, the other day or well, yesterday, I think it was, I worked up to two forty on the deadlift, and I had like, you know, three four centimeters left on the damn um, uh, on the damn bar you know this is 240 kilos when you use bumper plates it just gets eaten up so now i have steel plates are a lot thinner um today i worked up to 180 for five felt amazing uh i don't know i, I may, maybe there's a degree of uh stability when you have the bar uh kind of used up less if you know what i mean so like when i'm using the bumper plates the the, the plates go out further away from me and so there's more whip on the bar, more instability. Now with these plates, I don't know. Like, you know, I, I'm yet this year to hit 180 for five until today with these plates. Probably because I'm excited. Probably because, you know, it's so freaking cool to have the plates finally. So I kind of amped myself up a little bit. But uh, I don't know. They felt more stable. I don't I don't know. Uh, the weights are near me. Um, and uh, dare I say, I felt stronger, you know, like this. Probably I would even be stronger if I used the power bar that I have, the Ohio power bar. So if I took the Ohio power bar and I used these steel plates, maybe I would feel even better because the power bar is a lot more stiff, obviously, than the Oli bar that I use here today. But um, it's just, you know, it's one of those things that I, I, don't, I don't know whether you guys agree or whatever your perspective is. And But I, I think each of us out there, you know, we, we have something that makes us tick, makes us happy. 
Um, and we all have our own little private thing that, you know, uh, that we have. Some guys like video games, some guys like cars, some guys like traveling, some guys like four wheel driving, whatever the case might be, man. Like if it makes you happy, invest in it because it's not a waste. It's definitely an investment. If it makes you smile, if it makes you feel happy, it's freaking worth it. Uh, but don't just splash around in everything. You know, I always say to people all the time, you can't have 40 hobbies. You can't be into fishing. You can't be into like blah, 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 you know, guitars, this and that and the other, blah. And so you, you got like four or five or 10 different things that you splash out on. I, I, I don't agree with that. You know, I feel like everyone should have one, at most two things, which really makes them tick. And you kind of invest all of your energy into that. And that's kind of where you invest. If money's not a problem, whatever, buy 16 Ferraris, line them up and look at them all, whichever way you want. But, you know, for the normal person that doesn't have, you know, heaps of money, I still think you should have one thing that kind of makes you tick. And, you know, regardless of what people say to you, oh, Ivan, how stupid is this? You bought some steel plates. Whatever, man. It makes me happy. You know, I laugh at your guitar, let's say. Not that I do, but why would I buy a $4,000 guitar? You know, I'm not going to play guitar. I don't care about music like that. Um, so, you know, I finally kind of convinced myself to use some of the money that I get from the YouTube, uh, and invest it straight back in, you know, uh, and, uh, and I feel proud. I feel proud that, you know, the community and, and the viewership that I get on the channel has, has allowed me to do this. Uh, it makes me happy on multiple levels. You know, the fact that I have the support uh, from people around the world who are sharing the same passion as me. There's so many freaking garages out there. Guys are working out. Guys are sharing their journey just like me. You know, we're not super athletes. We're not anything special, but we get after it and it makes us happy. And at the bare bones minimum, we are actually moving around and keeping fit. And that's kind of healthy. That's kind of the bare minimum. But obviously, a lot of us, um, you know, you're listening to this. So you're probably thinking, no, nah, no, nah, I want freaking 300 kilo squats. You know, that's, that's kind of how I look at it as well. But uh, whether we get there or not, it doesn't matter. It's about the journey. I keep hopping on about the same thing. And if buying steel plates and all this stuff makes you happy and makes the journey better, why not? Um, so that's kind of how I look at it. And uh, uh, oh, and the other thing that I got as well. So I got the bench, I got the tree, uh, I got the weights, and I also got a deadlift jack from another company surprisingly the rogue didn't have that on their website on the australian website of rogue the american rogue website did have a deadlift jack so i went with another brand hopefully it's it's you know good quality uh, you know everything that rogue does is really really high quality even the weight tree just looks i don't know the, the materials that can you know it's so tough it's like what the ghd is made of is what this thing is made of as well so um it's freaking amazing. I'm happy. I'm really, really happy. Um, the one thing that I noticed, though, is, is that it doesn't rattle as much as I've seen other plates rattle online. Um, I don't know, because Rogue is, once again, really precise with their cuts and, you know, the holes are not, you know, too big. Because you know? if the holes are too big, then the bar has less kind of grip on it and then there's more room for, for rattling. Uh, which is kind of good as well, but also the, the paint is fresh. <laughs> it's a brand new thing. So maybe as the years go on, as I keep sliding, uh, you know, the, the, the plates on and off, maybe it's going to get worn off and then there will be a bit of a gap. Frankly, you know, I kind of look forward to those days. Even when, if, if, if the thing goes rusty, I'm also looking forward to that. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm into that kind of old school, you know, rusty metal kind of basement uh, gym with, barely any lights in there um it just seems like a place of meditation i don't know uh, i like bumper plates don't get me wrong i like the colors and whatever but there's something about just neutrality it kind of like fits fits me more than just rainbow colors around the place especially when i'm training because it's a hurt locker most of the time and you're you're focused and you don't need i don't know i i think these weights are gonna really offer something that I haven't had before. Number one, I have a freaking set, a complete set that I can look at aesthetically and be like, wow, there's six plates on that bar. I'm going to deadlift that. And that's really, really cool. Really, really cool. All right, guys, I need to get out of here. I will uh, catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.